Hello. So today we are going to be working on the chakras in the hands and in the feet. There are many there, lots of energy centers that connect with the entire body. You might know a little bit about them from reflexology, um, the action of putting pressure on certain points in the hands and feet to heal other places in the body. So today we're going to connect with all those energy centers. We're going to open them. We're going to massage them. We're going to ground them and just bring them into balance. So start a nice tall seat. We'll get a little stretch in as well. Close your eyes. Just take a few deep breaths in and out through your nose. As you breathe, I want you to begin to ground down into your tailbone, draw the navel into your spine, and allow your spine to lengthen. Feel the crown of the head rising up towards the ceiling as the shoulders relax and the hips relax. I want you to take a moment, if you need to wiggle out in order to get that long spine, feel free to. And once you feel tall, I want you to take your head, let's roll it in a great big circle in one direction a couple of times. Take your time to get a good stretch through the whole neck. And when you're ready, go the opposite way. Again, big circles, stretching the neck in every direction, taking your time. And when you're ready, let's come to a tall seat. Lengthen through the body, relax the shoulders back and down. And when you feel good, take your hands down alongside of you. I want you to feel your fingertips pressing into the ground. Allow the body to rise a little bit taller. And just hold for a moment, feeling that connection with the ground beneath the fingers. And then imagine those fingers like roots. Growing downwards into the earth, connecting with the energy, connecting with the flow. Feel that energy moving up into the hands and into the arms. And just hold here for a moment, taking deep breaths. And when you're ready, you're going to inhale, bring your arms all the way up to the sky. At the top, I want you to lace your fingers together, turn your palms up and open those palms. Still lift the ribs, bring the biceps in towards the ears, but bring the focus more so into the palms and into those fingers, opening them wide up to the sky, receiving the energy from the air, from the sun, When you're ready, bring the arms out in front of you. Open those shoulders, but still focus on those palms. They should feel open. They should be stretching. Feel those fingers widening and opening. And as you inhale, lift all the way back up. Separate those hands, bring them down to the ground behind you. Fingers facing forward. Press your palms into the ground. 
Squeeze the shoulders back, open the belly and the chest, and feel the palms firmly pressing into the floor. Feel that connection with the ground beneath you. Feel yourself becoming grounded into those palms as they support your torso, allowing you to open. Feel the energy of the earth rising up into your hands. And when you're ready, gently roll up into your tall seat. Inhale, bring the arms up towards the sky. And exhale, fold forward. Walk those hands away. Relax to gravity and take a few deep breaths. If you like to, stay with spider fingers on the floor, tips of the fingers touching down. So your fingertips are on the floor, palms are up, pressing down into those fingertips and rooting into the ground once more. Staying low, you're going to inhale to walk your body across to the right. Fold over your thigh, reaching across with that left arm and take a few deep breaths. And then as you inhale, come across the body all the way to the left. Reach across with your right arm this time, fold one to five, deep breathing. As you inhale, come back to center. Walk up to your tall seat and cross your legs the opposite way. And once you're there, sit up tall once more. Deep breathing into the body. If you can, turn your palms up. Place them on your lap. Open the palms wide up to the sky. Feel the energy moving through them as they spread open actively, engaging the muscles. Taking deep, even breaths into the body, slow and steady. I want you to breathe with the purpose of providing life for your body. For oxygenating each and every cell for giving you strength, stability, and vitality. When you feel good, inhale, bring the arms all the way to the sky. At the top, press your palms together and exhale, bring them down to the heart. Once there, keep your pinky and your thumb together. You're going to open the rest of the fingers and open the palms, making a nice cup with your hands into lotus. I want you to take the thumbs against the sternum, press them against there, feeling the heart beating within you, the breath moving in you. Keep the fingers spread to the sky, opening wide, creating space for energy to flow into those hands and into your body. And just breathe energy here. Accept the energy of the universe. Feel it flowing into those palms, into you.
And when you're ready, bring the palms back together. Inhale them up to the sky. From here, you're going to exhale. Bring them down to the wrong side of you, but slowly as you rotate your wrists, working out any kinks in them, stretching those fingers wide as you go. Good. And then inhale, bring the arms all the way back up. Exhale, the hands to the heart, press the palms together. Once you're there, just continue to press. I want you to feel all the way from the wrist, up through the palms, into each finger to the fingertip, pressing against each other. Feel that activation, feel the energy moving into the body from right to left. Closing the circuit as the energy just flows through you. And when you're ready, inhale, bring those palms together up to the sky. And then exhale, rotate the other way now. Big circles with those wrists as you come all the way back down to the ground. Nice and slow. And once they reach there, as you inhale, bring the arms up one more time. Take the palms together, exhale down to the heart. From here, keep pressing those palms together. Open those elbows out. You're going to take the wrists and turn them so that the fingers come away from you. And then down towards the ground. Continuing to press, feeling a little stretch in the inner wrist. Hold. This time, press the fingers against the belly the best you can. Feel the breath in that diaphragm. Opening, closing, giving life to the body. Working so that you may also do work. Feel the palms continuing to press together, the energy flowing between them. And when you're ready, lift those fingers back up to the sky. Inhale, bring those hands up. Separate the hands and exhale, fold forward. Walk the hands away again. If you want to use spider fingers, tips of the fingers on the ground, rooting into the earth, feel free and deep breathing. And gently walking yourself back up. Big inhale as you come back to center. Come onto our hands and knees and tabletop when you're ready. Once you get there, make sure your wrists are beneath your shoulders, knees are beneath your hips. Take a deep breath in, engage your core, flattening out your spine. As you exhale, lift the spine as high as you can, tucking under tailbone and chin. And then inhale, open belly, chest, and tailbone. Again, exhale, come to cat pose. Really lift your spine as high as you can. And then inhale, open into cow as you relax and release. Keep on going with your own breath, getting a stretch through the spine. But as you're doing this, really press through the hands. I want you to feel a connection with the ground beneath you. Get out of the wrists as you press through the entire palm, through all 10 fingers, pressing firmly through the entire hand, not putting all your weight into any one specific spot.
Now we're going to add to this. So as you exhale, I want you to press the tops of the feet into the mat, lifting that core high. As you inhale into your cow pose, tuck the toes under and press into the toes. Then again, exhale, untuck the toes, lift to cat, press down into the tops of the feet. Inhale to cow, tucking under the toes, pressing through them. Just go a few more times with your own breath. Palms are still pressed down firmly. And we begin to activate and open the bottoms of those feet, stretching and then relaxing them. And on your next exhale, you'll untuck those toes, round to cat, and move all the way back to child's pose for a few deep breaths. Wiggle yourself into the pose, breathe into the belly and the lower back. And again, if you want to to spider your fingers, tips of the fingers on the ground to root into the earth, feel free. Coming back to your flat back table. Tuck under your toes, lift those hips high. Let's pedal out those feet in downward dog. Get a good stretch through the back of the body. Again, in downward dog, I want you pressing through those palms, through the entire hand, connecting with the ground. Feeling that ground massage out the hands a little. As you pedal the feet, we're also stretching out the feet as well as the calves, starting to activate them. Bringing those energy centers in the feet to life, wakening them up. And when you're ready, you're going to walk those feet up to meet your hands in your forward bend. Sinking down into forward bend, let that head be heavy. Feel the feet pressing into the ground, little bend in the knees. If you can, reach the ground. Place your palms in front of the feet and press feet and hands down into the earth, feeling yourself grounding. Feeling that energy connecting with the energy of the earth beneath you. Taking deep breaths into it. When you're ready with bent knees, you're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time, strong core, strong thighs. And come all the way up to your mountain pose. All right, once you're here, plant down into those feet. I want you to take them over. We're going to do this as a process. So wiggle out anything that you need. Wiggle out those toes. Maybe rock back and forth a few times. So really try to stretch them out here. You don't want to feel like there's anything bunched up underneath the foot. Once you feel wiggled, I want you to lift your toes and walk that all the way back onto your heel. 
and then place it down. And then look at the other toes and then place them down. Good, maybe rock back and forth a few more times with the heels, place them down. And then finally just spread all 10 toes as wide as possible, lift them off the floor slightly and then place them down so all 10 toes press firmly into the mat. The foot is pressed firmly, the heel is pressed firmly. Everything is even on the ground. Everything is open, nothing is impeding the energy flow up into the body. Holding here, lift through the legs, engage the core, relax the shoulders, palms open, facing forward, receiving that energy. Close your eyes and breathe. Holding here, taking a few moments now, deep breathing. When you're ready, inhale, rise up onto those toes, lift as high as you can, and then relax down. So pressing down into those feet again, lifting up now. What we're going to do is spread those toes wide, keep them pressed into the floor though. When you're ready, inhale, lift up onto those toes, lifting the heels. Exhale, lower down slowly, massage the foot, and then lift the toes up, rock a little bit into your heel. Then again, inhale, rise. Exhale, lower and lift the toes. So a few more times with our own breath. Palms are still open. We're rocking through the whole foot. We're not stretching our toes up. We're not gripping into the floor. We're massaging the bottom of the foot, working through it, maintaining our balance, maintaining that flow of energy. Do one more. And plant down into those feet. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. And when you're ready, inhale, bring the arms up to the sky. Bend the knees, exhale, swan dive into your forward bend. Holding here in your forward bend, deep breathing. When you're ready, you're going to walk those feet back to downward dog. Holding for a moment, pedal at the feet if you'd like, press through the palms, through the whole hand, deep breathing. And when you feel ready, you're going to drop down to those knees. Keep the toes tucked under this time and gently press the hips back for a modified child's pose. Deep breathing here, stretching out the bottoms of the feet. When you're ready, lean forward, untuck the toes and go into a regular child's pose. Again, focusing on relaxing the soles of the feet. Come to your flat back table, come back to a seated position, and this time come to a open Vatikanasana. So the feet are wide, um, the knees are wide, the feet are separated but coming towards each other so that you can reach and touch the bottoms of the feet. What we're going to do first is work on the hands, so just relax those thighs, stay nice and open. 
Take those hands, what I want you to do is rub them together, make them nice and warm. Once you feel nice and warm, I want you to take those hands and massage them. Starting from the base of the wrist, working up your way to the fingertips, massage up each and every section of the hand, opening up those energy centers, giving them a little bit of love and attention. And then doing the other one too. Good. After you finish with that little massage, what I want you to do is rub those hands together once more, make them nice and warm. And once they feel nice and warm, you're going to take them and feel that energy and cup it right over those eyes. Allow the eyes to relax. Feel that energy moving into your face, into the eyes, into the body. Feel the calming sensation that it gives you. And then when you're ready, relax those hands down. They should still be nice and warm. Take them to the feet. And when you're ready, starting with the heel, massage your way up each and every part of the foot, going through the foot, ending at the tip of each toe before giving a little squeeze, and then starting from the base and working your way up to the next toe. And let's just do that for a moment. Deep breathing. Good. And then when you're ready, just give your feet a little squeeze, give them a little bit of love, feel that energy flowing through them. And I want you to take the feet together into Bhattakanasana. Take the hands together at the heart. And I want you to feel the circulating flow of energy. Make it a nice closed surface so the energy, energy just keeps flowing through you. Deep breathing. Let us stay here now for our Shavasana. This moment now of deep meditation, of thought, of connection. I want you to feel that energy in your hands and in your feet. Feel it moving through the body, connecting all parts of you together. Flow of energy gives you life, gives you energy, gives you vitality and strength. The breath helps to move it through to wherever it needs to go. And as this healing energy moves through you, you feel calm, you feel centered, you feel at peace. When you're ready, release the hands. Come to a seated position that is comfortable for you. Keeping your eyes closed as you wiggle and move. If you'd like to make any other little stretches right now, feel free to take them. And eventually come back to your hands at your heart. I'd like to thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel calm and connected. And so with love and with gratitude, the light within me bows to the light within you. Namaste. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you have a wonderful day.